All right, guys, so we're outside and we're doing another video on these tactical hoods, tactical fleece hoodies. Um, currently, it's about, I don't know, it's about minus two or three outside right now. So it's not crazy cold, but cold enough, cold enough outside. Um, but I've been wearing this hoodie. Now, this is the new bearskin. It's the bearskin hoodie. And uh, I did a review last week in regards to like their Amazon Chinese competitor. Now, I don't know where this is made. You know, I have no idea. But uh, I've been wearing it for a week. My wife actually has one as well. We bought one for her and for me. And uh, the goal was that we were looking for things like this that we could take with us when we head to Alaska this summer for a cruise. And we thought this would be a really good option. Uh, just the tactical hoodies, that style in general, because of the fact that they have so many pockets, uh, they're warm. That's, that's a big key, right? Is they're warm and try not to trip because it's, it's still a lot of snow on the deck and, uh, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to fall. I'm going to say it. I don't want to fall. And, uh, we had no snow just a little while ago. Anyways, let's just go up here. I'm on the deck. We'll put the, we'll put the camera down. There we go. So you guys get a better view of it. So if you look at this, this hoodie, uh, in comparison to the other one, a few things. Number one, uh, this definitely feels two things, actually a little softer, which is really nice because who doesn't like soft, but it also feels just a tad bit thicker. I'm not going to say it's a lot thicker, but it does feel like it's got a little bit more substance, uh, in regards to like zippers and stuff. There's zippers. It's not as if they're YKK brand. They're zippers. Um, do they work? Yeah, they work fine. So I'm not going to say that's better on one than the other. Both of them seem to be okay. Uh, but there are some things with this jacket versus the other one that I definitely like. Uh, and it has to do with just getting it to fit the way you want it. Uh, earlier this week, I was actually um, out snow blowing which you'll see a video of later on today. Uh, and I was wearing this. This was the only thing I was wearing. It was about nine, minus nine outside. And being able to cinch these up. So it has like little pull tabs on the bottom so you can cinch the waist up, which is really nice. Um, it has, you guys may be able to see it here. It has this, it's like a, like a wind blocker. I don't know what you call it. But when the zipper's up, which the other one doesn't have, wind comes through the other one. You can feel that wind kind of come through when it's really windy. Uh, this one, you probably would if the wind was blowing like really heavy, but normal day-to-day -day stuff, I don't think you would feel it. So I like that. Um, the cuffs, yes sir, cinch those up, get them the way you want them. That's, that's a huge win because what you're trying to do here is stop the wind from getting in this, right? Keep the warmth in, keep the cold out. So you can cinch these up. Again, you can see me with gloves. Works really fine, really fine. And then last but not least, which I really like, both of them have really nice big hoods for sure. Like it's, it's, an, it's a really big hood without question, but this one has, if I can feel, yeah, here they are, pulls, right? So you can cinch this up. So if it's really cold out, you can cinch that right up so that you can get a, keep as much wind out as possible. The other ones don't have that. So if you're really buying these for like warmth, uh, this one by far, I would say is better than the other one, just because of all the little uh, fine tuning that you and I can do with these, which is really nice. Now, I don't wanna say downfall, but the one thing that the other one does have that I wish this one had with some of the extra pockets. Now, this one has pocket on the arm, pocket on the arm. It does have patches, patches if you want, yes. Pocket, pockets. Now, before I go further, these pockets are in the right spot. Uh, one of the biggest issues I have with the Amazon Chinese one is they have pockets, but they're, they're big, but they're up here. I don't understand why they're here, right? These are where pockets are supposed to be, you know? That's where pockets are, not up here. I don't, 
So that that's a big one. That one stops me actually from wearing that one a lot if I actually want to put my hands in my pockets because they, I don't like that pocket. Um, and of course, you have pockets on the back. Of course, pockets on the back. And they're all the way through, just like the other one. Both of them have that. Um, or putting your gloves in, putting snacks, bags of chips, you know, small remote control cars, drones, cameras, whatever, right? Um, this one has it's cold outside, so I'm not going to go unzip this for too long. This one has pocket here, which is nice. This one has pocket here, and they're both fairly large, which is good. And one pocket over here, so three internal. And those are those are huge pluses for sure. Now the other thing too, before I lose track of what I'm saying, is that um, the other ones, the other one has one internal, so this one better, but it has a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pen pocket. I really like that. I like those two extra pockets on the side and the pen pocket, a pocket for your for a pen. Not that you and I may, may be carrying a pen around that much, but if you did, it'd be nice to have it, right? All right, so um, I was looking, I'm gonna try not to fall again, going down here. <laughs> That's fun. Um, I was looking online and Depending on when you buy, and this is Canadian fees, right? Canadian funds. The Amazon one, cheapest I could find it when I bought it was about 60 bucks, but I have seen them go all the way up to 80. Uh, the bear skin, pretty much all the time, right? They, they advertise that it's on sale, but it's almost not, it's almost never not on sale. And they came in about 119. So, you know, for that, if you can get, if you, if you have to spend $80 on the Amazon one, I would say, without question, spend the extra 40 and get this one. If you're on a budget, you know, and the other one is fine, you don't need all the customization, you, you don't mind having your front pockets halfway up your stomach, I, just, I don't understand that one. Um, then it's still good, it's, a, it's still a good, right, hoodie. It's just not as good as this one. For sure, it's just not as good. So they say this will be the last hoodie you ever buy. Uh, probably until version three comes out, because this is this is version two. So they probably said that with version one. Version three will have an extra pocket, have a pen spot, and then I, then I'd be really pleased. All right, guys, uh, this is the Bearskin 2.0. Yeah, no, it's good. I like it for sure. I'm gonna definitely wear this to Alaska. I think it looks nice. All right guys, uh, links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. And uh, I'm going in. Later.